Hey guys, Garrett 97 again, this time with the third and final part of the White Dingo set review. So, um, before we go on, um, the weapon compatibility, because as you can see, both mobile suits can hold all the weapons just fine. The gym has no problem holding the gun cannon's machine gun, it's not even wobbly, it's in there really securely, and the gun, uh, the gun cannon, the weapons are a little bit on the wobbly side, but overall, he has no problems holding the gym's accessories. Also, he can hold the shield. Uh, mind you, if you're going to put it up, you will have to put a little bit of tape um, at the handle because it's a bit on the loose side, but it's better a bit too loose because you can always uh, just wrap a little bit of tape around it. So you have some nice compatibility there. And now, as always, the inevitable question is, do you want to buy this? Well, um, before we really get into that, let's look at the original retail price. Uh, for 2,000 yen, that is only 300 yen more than buying the original ones. But what do you get for the extra 300 yen? You get machine gun, you get an extra shield, um, you get a clear visor on the gun cannon, you of course get the entire clear head, you get some extra colors uh, for the feet, you get Possibly an extra knee joint, which you can use to modify the gym, if you're a good modeler. Of course, it's not going to be easy. And same goes for, um, you do get some shoulder joints, which you could also use to modify the gym. Once again, if you're a good modeler. And finally, of course, you get the extra sticker sheet. And I think that's pretty fair for 300 yen. So, for the original retail price of 2000 yen, this set is absolutely worth it no doubt about it 2000 yen wow if this was a normal release i'd probably buy at least two or so or three even but now of course we get to the bad part this is a limited kit which means finding it for 2000 yen if you're not in japan is literally impossible um yeah at the moment i think these are going for 40 to 60 dollars on eBay and then we're of course talking about something entirely different for 40 dollars well yeah that's still acceptable they look absolutely stunning when compared to their anime counterparts they look a lot less toy like I mean these guys mean business these are military machines these well, in all honesty, these are the kind of machines you see at those, um, like those military air shows. That's the kind of color scheme we're talking about here. These two are going to fight a war. So, yeah. Forty dollars. Hmm. We're stretching it a little bit, but still worth it. Sixty dollars. Well, we're talking about two relatively old high grades. Especially the gyms, one of the first, and I think number 20. Um, yeah, we're in a little bit of a problem, $60. But once again, the color scheme doesn't lie. And of course, the extra parts you get. Oh yeah, let's also get into that. Um, the gym here, if you would want to get this, you would have to buy an extra blue Destiny unit. So yeah, if you're... Of course, a lot of times the argument is, hey, I'm just going to paint them, and then it will be exactly the same. Well, for starters, you get the sticker sheet. You can't buy that separately. And, well, the shield and the extra machine gun is going to cost you. And what you definitely can't do, unless you have some wicked um, yeah, tools hanging around, the clear visor on the gun cannon. Yeah, those are some... Well, I guess you could always uh, try to do that with plastic, but still, it's not that easy to replicate this set, and it's definitely going to cost you as well. So yeah, still $60 if you like the white dingoes. Mm, it's stretching it, but I could still, uh, yeah. Simply because this is one of the few of those limited editions I really care for, and I think this is definitely the way they should do it. They give you the original kits and they just make them a little bit better instead of just recoloring them. Of course, they could have given us a few extra parts, um, the bazooka, the experimental beam rifle. It would have all been nice, but 
as this set goes, I could definitely recommend it to everyone who likes um, the Rise from the Ashes or White Dingo or the White Dingo team in general. So I've probably been going on for way too long. So that's all for this review. Like I said, if you like them, pick them up and see you next time.